when this trial, when this whole legal battle began, um, while I felt it was very important because of the immensity of the Holocaust to fight this man, I also recognized that there was a bigger issue here, that if this could be denied, anything could be denied. If this history could be rewritten, any history could be rewritten. Why do you continually denigrate the work of David Irving? You can have opinions about the Holocaust, but I won't meet with anyone who says the Holocaust didn't happen. Professor Lipstadt, I am that David Irving. Rachel Weiss was cast in this. I understand you met with her. We spent a couple of days in her home together, just sitting in her kitchen, drinking tea, drinking coffee, and talking about the movie. Um, we talked a lot on the phone. Uh, and then when she started filming, I was on the set quite often. Uh, she liked my energy. She liked having me there. Until towards the end where she sort of felt I had, she had become Deborah Lipstadt and my being there was, you know, uh, a sort of disturbance. But, uh, but we had a very good relationship and I was absolutely delighted to have her play me. I think she did a great job and she's not only an actor with uh, wellsprings of talent, but she's a real uh, terrific human being. Did she uh, tell you to go away, or did she? No, we talked. You know, she would. We would talk each day, and she'd say, "Look, tomorrow is a is a difficult scene," or uh, you know, it, that just happened towards the end. And she'd say, "I," and I would just say, "She said it's easier for me if you're not there." And she said, "She." We talked about it afterwards. We talked about it when the film premiered in Toronto at the film festival. And she'd say, she'd look up and she'd say, I've become Deborah Lipstadt. Who's that redheaded woman over there? So it was just my taking my cues from her. Okay. She told me about her background too. And how did that fit into? Well, my, um, her, both her parents were refugees from Hitler, her father from Germany, her mother from Vienna. Um, and both of them escaped to England as uh, fairly young children. Where's the proof? Not all opinions are equal. But I'm not a racist. I understand that the court, in the court, the, um, it's exactly, the dialogue is exact. Precisely. Everything said in the court happened, came from the transcripts of those 32 days of court hearings. Um, every video in which David Irving speaks is exactly what he said. There are no holes in that roof, therefore there never were any gas chambers. Are you still in touch with the people, who, the legal team? Very much so. I see them when I'm in England. We visit. We, I go to their family celebrations. What scene in the movie got to you most when you saw the movie and had to relive it? Um, I think the scene where she stands by the ruins of the gas chamber and says the memorial prayer was one, and the other one, it seems sort of strange to pair these two together, was when the judge asks an unexpected question towards the end of the trial about someone being a sincere anti-Semite. And we were thought he had missed this whole thing of this man's manipulation and this man's hatred and this man's prejudice and racism and anti-Semitism. And she turns around uh, to her lawyer and she says, and I guess I can say this word because you're a website and not broadcast uh, what the fuck just happened because that's exactly what I said.